Oh, it's full of my, I mean, this full of really hard problems. So there's some, there's some very basic, there's some very fundamental problems in, in well, ga quantum gauge theories are the theories that describe, just really describe you know, elementary particles. And that, this had, that had, of course, very fundamental problems. Some of them are worth one million dollar in clay prize money. And, uh, these are really hard problems, so I'm not trying to solve those. Even, even when you make simplifying assumption, you assume uh, supersymmetry and other factors that work in your flavor. Still, then you can make more progress with this data, but you're still you're facing problems that require a large fraction of all of modern math to somehow just to analyze. And that's, uh, but that's, that's, that's very interesting. And that's what I also find exciting, that this, the, um, the developments you you, you study there, they're, they're, they come back and relate to, uh, to questions, uh, in fact, which go back to the, to the, to the time when I started in, uh, back in Moscow, that relates to questions in, in, in two-dimensional statistical mechanics has to do with, uh, with uh, you, can, you, can, you can better describe, you can, you can, you can understand the, their spectra better, and so, forth, so on and so forth, you can solve various equations through through the input that comes from uh, considering very different theories in larger number of dimensions, you can somehow project them. This is a very common thread in mathematical physics when you, when you, uh, to solve a problem, you very, it, it's remarkable very often solution of a, a given problem comes from a different phys physical theory that a priori lives in some different number of dimensions, involves different characters, and yet in some, in some description actually projects to what you want to study.